Hi there, it's Shell and I'm Clint. Clint. I'm still over here sewing. <laughs> for you, it's a whole new day. For us, it's still Sunday evening. Uh, Cubby's here. Of course he is. Sophia is on her way over she here. just woke up. And she wants some attention, I think. So, um... Okay, come on, Butterball. Sophia needs some daddy loving. Uh, we're going to use oh, some more gas checks that we used like on yeah. Sunday. And then I'm going to use some other things. And again, we're going to make, just use our stash. And we're kind of going to make what we just made. Or what we made yesterday. So again, you know, just little fold overs. Because I really just want to have, you know, like I said, a bunch of the same things. Uh, these are some bingo cards, and I got these a while back from Miss Diane Hubert, and then I coffee dyed them. Uh, Diane is Pretty Pink Cottage on Etsy, and I believe her link is below in the description. And sometimes she'll come up with these really awesome things. So again, you're just going to fold it in the center, and then fold it over like this. Then we're going to trim this one video may not be as long as the last couple but I kind of had this idea in my head and um, it really wasn't that late and Clint and I decided that we would go ahead and continue working for a little bit longer we made some homemade cherry ice cream uh, we're not neither one of us are that big on in ice cream on the ice cream but when we do eat it, we like to make our own. And, I mean, some, once in a while we'll eat it, but I bet homemade, I bet it's been five years yeah, since we've eaten sure. homemade ice cream. Because <laughs> I remember it was back when I would milk goats and we would use the um, goat milk a lot of times for our homemade ice cream. But we still have the goats, so sometimes you'll hear them. And we still have the chickens. Yeah, They've been running around. around. The chickens have. The chickens or the goats? The chickens. The chickens. Clint's been letting them out every evening or every morning. We got one rooster, and boy, I tell you what, he's a protector. He watches over those he, girls. Yeah, he keeps track of those girls. And Clint w picked up one once, and man, that rooster let him have it. He was like, leave my girl alone. Thankfully, he was in the inside of the fence, and Clint was on the outside. <laughs> Oh, Cubby. Cubby, you make life so much harder, but more enjoyable. Huh? Oh, yes, Sophia Renee. Huh? Oh, I love you. you too. You're such a cute wife. Sophia's over there loving on Daddy. She got a fat belly. And she just <laughs> loves having her belly rub. Yeah, she's got long hair, which is funny because she has the long hair. The boys have short hair. And she's got two color eyes. Yeah. She's got a blue one and a green one. And I tell you, you get irritated at her and then she looks at you with those beautiful little eyes. Yeah, she's really heart. hard to get too upset with. Even when she needs discipline. <laughs> Clint's like, I can't do it. <laughs> I do it. He ain't fun. Yeah, he does. And then we're talking about how cute she is. And she knows it. Yeah, she does know that she's cute. And, and she's a heavy walker, so she, you'll hear her come from the back room and it's like thump, 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 thump. <laughs> we always know when she's on the way. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so look how cute these are. That is so cute. I think I'm just going to make a few of those. I may go ahead and put um, things inside of it if my cubby ever moves. But he really wanted his mama today. And as soon as I started talking, he's like that. So, I don't see him. I think he's jealous. He's, I don't know what he's doing Something. today. He's not happy he's with Mama. <laughs> he's like. My little buddy sounds sweet. Well, and he's been, he's been really where he wants Mama the last few days. You know, he kind of won't, won't leave me alone. So, sometimes I think, you know, when he's sick, he does that. But I don't think he's sick. I think no. he just wants. The mama loving. 
but I can always tell when he's sick because then he won't he really won't leave me alone but I mean he's not like this 24 7 when he's sick he really just wants to sit in my lap because we're really all they know yeah we're their mama and daddy we're their mama and daddy they were itty bitty during the time yeah they were only like three weeks old when we got them so we really you know that's all they've ever known is us and we had decided that four cats, because that's what we had until we got the three, were more than enough. And our limit was four until we got these guys. And then our limit went up to seven. <laughs> yeah. But they, you know, they stole their hearts. You know, when they the did. It was, we babies, bottle fed them. And hard not to fall in love with them. Yeah. And Cubby doesn't really meow. He chirps. Yeah. So he kind of, he purr, kind of purr chirps. He's like, Burr. I don't know. I can't do it very good. <laughs> but he's not a... Uh, he doesn't meow. You have to really pay attention to him because he's really light and really quiet. And just like um, Sophia, she hums. She kind of goes... Mm, mm, yeah, she does. Mm. <laughs> She'll meow once She kind of grunts, I guess. Yeah, she doesn't meow. Unless she's really unhappy, then she'll, you know, let us know that Hey, I want you, and I'm not happy. Yeah. But she'll so. talk to you that way. If you hum back at her, she talks to you. Yeah, it's kind of funny. If you go, mm, she'll do the same. She'll do it back to you. So. Ooh, these guys are quick. That's kind of fun. I really love using things that are um, very simple and that you can just kind of pick up and not have to think about size or measurements or anything like that. So, I guess he's kind of moving over a little bit. He's laying on all that stuff over there. <laughs> but I tell you, when they don't get their attention, um, Chloe, I think I've mentioned this before, Chloe is our, she's the one who stays in the bedroom with us most of the time. She does wander around the house, but she loves her alone time. And she has to have like 10 to 12 minutes with me every night so i love on her about 10 to 12 minutes and then she's done she goes and gets her drink of water or whatever but i have to pick her up love on her and she's done and we have another cat that's like that they only need just a few minutes of love and then they're done but um my bubby he's he kind of just needs a few minutes of love in the morning and in the evening. He started doing both morning and evening. And, you know, just wanting some love here and there. And it's really enjoyable. We love our cats. And I love hearing about your cats. So you guys yeah, continue neat. telling us how your cats are doing and what they're doing. and. I love it when they say, oh, my cat loves watching your cat. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Clint and I, we both read the, um, what? We both read the comments and we just are like, did you read that one? Sophia. <laughs> okay. That's Sophia talking. Yeah. What's wrong? Well, I'm Aww. sorry. Aww. There you go. What? She's hanging off daddy's arms. I don't know what she's what are doing. What you doing, you big goober? <laughs> you know yeah, but I thought since we had a little bit more time today that I would um, go ahead and make, let's see, we have Mondays done, Tuesdays, this is Tuesdays, I guess, yes. I'm trying to think what we do, uh, tomorrow on Monday, which, you know, you guys will be yesterday for you, but anyways, we got, we're planning on going up into the mountains, so we'll see how that works out. I think I put that in yesterday's video. I don't know. You get all confused when you do them all. <laughs> so when I'm doing the corner rounder, I just do the side that is the right orientation because I want it to look nice in my book, whatever book I add this to. So huh. it's not quite doing. What are you doing, you old turd? Just grab my toes. 
<laughs> she is. Sophia does like toes and feet toes and, and fingers. fingers. Right. She loves fingers and she's also my plastic baby. She loves anything plastic. Oh, Lord. She's so funny. Okay, so I thought too it would be fun to do guest checks. So let's try them and just see. Again, just fold it in the center. You know, just all different kinds of things. Uh, when I originally came up with this idea, I just used coffee dyed paper. But the more I thought about it, especially this series, I thought, ooh, I could use this and this and this. <laughs> so, I thought we'd do some guest checks. And they're kind of fun because they're kind of already decorated up for you. You know, you kind of already have a background to start with. Because I typically like to add some writing or something for the background. And, but I thought that would be kind of fun. So, let's check this out. Again, we're just doing the large V in case you haven't seen the last two or three videos I've done. But sometimes you just get overwhelmed with stuff. And, you know, that's one reason we're having the giveaway. Again, that link is below for the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. And you have until July the 31st to leave a message. So, I think I want this side. Do I want this side upside down? Yeah, let's do that for the front. Just kind of fun. You know, just do whatever you want to do. But how fun to use the same items just in a different way. Clint is knocking out some ruffles. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Well, you've been working on it about an hour and a half. I've, so I've got a lot. That's what he's doing in the background, in case you guys couldn't tell. I'm or also going to do... I saved, I tried to save as much of the fabric as I could. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do fabric flips, too, out of the fabric. Yeah, that way he can maybe make like a... Um, or yeah, a um, yeah a set of ruffles and a fabric flip. If you guys were interested in some of those, they should be coming. We're hoping by next weekend we'll have time for him to finish up enough to put in the store and also uh, get it pictures taken and get them listed. But how cute is that? Isn't that cute? The little guest check. I really like that. Well, let's do this one sideways and see what happens. That's what I like about these is you can do them sideways, you can do them lengthwise, whatever you want to do. Or whatever it's called, you know. And then we'll do about a third here and a third here. How fun. I really am enjoying this series, you know, just building up my stash. Um, I won't have a lot of time at home until probably November. So if I can build up my stash here, here and there between that time, <clears throat> it'll be nice, you know, to be able to knock out some journals later and have a huge stash if I don't use it all before then <laughs> so this is kind of fun I'm enjoying this this is really fun like I said just to use different oops different um, items in the same way you know kind of being creative there All of a sudden it got really quiet, sorry. <laughs> We're thinking. Clint is trying to thread his needle again. How's it working, baby? 
go. I tell you, these are a dream. Nice, the thicker the stuff. The thicker huh? stuff is amazing. But boy, that thinner stuff sucks. <laughs> But aren't these fun just to use the, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, distress around this. Can't believe he sat up here this whole time. No, He's just still, sure just laying here. Well, and it is almost treat time. Um, Lily Mae's over there laying on my computer. I'm surprised she's not staring at me. She will stare at me when it gets to be treat time. But she's resting right now. She's, we still have about half an hour. <laughs> but she never lets me forget that when it's treat time, Mama, it's treat time. And don't you forget about me. cute is that? I love that. So probably what I'll do on these, let me see if I can just show you guys, even with my little guy here. Um, let's see what kind of paper I have over here in the corner. That one's not quite, yeah, maybe this one. I like that color so I'm just gonna try to cut it with my scissors And then again, I'm just going to round my corners. And then kind of have it as a side fold. So that's kind of cute like this. So you can open it, journal inside of it, whatever you want to do. How cute. Let's see what else I have. <laughs> that's kind of fun, so I'm going to try it again. Okay, so let's do it like this. Let's see if that's going to fit. It's a little too high, I think. I'm just going to trim it again. But I love just using scraps up. And when you can use them to make something just really cute, I just think that's nice. And then it goes like that. I really feel like this one's going to need something on the front. So let's see what I would do. Um, maybe I could cut out like a butterfly or something here. Let's see if I can trim that out. It's kind of plain on the front. I love that it was made from a guest check though. I think that's really fun. And these are kind of big. To trim out a butterfly or to do fussy cutting, but that's kind of fun. And then we'll kind of add that to the front. And that'll be so cute over a page or over a pocket or something. 
then this little guy can kind of go there. Let's see what else. I need something else there. Maybe a little bit of paper. We'll kind of do a little collage here because that's fun. Why not? Sometimes I take it all the way, you know, decorate it as far as I want. Sometimes I just make them into like um, the bare minimum. But it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling at that time. Um, if I have an idea of what I want to use them, you know, or how I want to use them. And my needle's gone. I wonder if he's sitting on it. <laughs> see if I can squeeze this out enough. Might be stuck to him somewhere. A little stinker. I don't feel it anywhere though. There's another one. Are you really? Wow. Clint is almost done with all the fabric that he had cut. And he cut a lot. I mean, it filled up a whole, kind of like a 18 quart Rubbermaid. So that's kind of, and he's been doing that while I've been making a couple of videos for you guys. So he's still over here. He's just really quiet, except for his sewing machine. cute huh and then that can fold over a page put a paper clip on there or pop, pop it in a little tuck spot or something that's really cute so I have these guys this one's fun I loved that one that one was so much fun um, I'm sure I have some things over here to do <laughs> that I could decorate with, but I hate to bother him, and he's kind of like, he's chilling. he is sound asleep, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call this video done, it's a little bit shorter than my other ones, but you guys kind of get the gist of, you know, what I wanted to do, and I'll probably, before these go in my stash, I'll probably go ahead and put in different journaling cards, or, um, tags or something so I think that'll be really fun and it'll be really nice to have them done and ready whenever I go and need something to add to a journal so thank you guys so much for watching we really appreciate you guys um, let me know if you're making some of these come join us on Facebook at the rambling crafters that's with an s the link is below and let me know show your ideas let me know what you think of these and be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already head over to the 4,000 subscriber giveaway if you haven't done that leave a comment that link is below as well as Facebook and my Etsy, Etsy store uh, all kinds of links are below so thanks so much for watching hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next video you guys have a wonderful day see you soon bye take care